Unfortunately, I can't get my volunteers home until this war is over completely. <sighs> I mean, I can still help in the Great Plains with the tanks. Am I getting any tank experience? I'm not. Why aren't I getting tank experience? I was wondering this yesterday. Because these are quite clearly armoured divisions. And in fact, if we go to the template, it is a tank, which means it's an armoured division. So I should be getting that experience. Okay, we have enough support equipment where we can get recon companies, support artillery and engineers in these. Oh yeah, easy. Easy! If anything is, that's going to cost me some more manpower, which we do have right now. Okay. And did we recover the manpower we'd lost? Uh, much of it, but not all of it. I will say that my armoured divisions are going to have a higher priority. Time to accept the call to arms. I think what I want to do is help them cross the Great Plains, and then once it's the mountain fighting, I'm done. But then again, I do kind of need to help the Netherlands against the Japanese. And if I do that early rather than late, then it's going to be our combined navies. Sorry it's been asked before, but in the second American Civil War, who would you side with? Depends entirely on who you play as. What do you mean in reality? Pacific States, probably. Or New England. <laughs> I'll take the fourth way out. I'll choose New England, or the fifth way out. I'd pick New England and join Canada. Pretty sure it has to be majority armor in the army for him to get it. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that I've had commanders earning both. It just needs to be majority armor in those divisions. Oh, that's a point. Yeah, all of these units are now going to be rushing over to this border. So the push against the PSA should be pretty brutal now. I think that's still not going to stop me from doing my part in the north. But again, it's going to be the tanks that are actually attacking. And if I get the uh, United States to join the Reichspact, I think that that would be a pretty good contribution, don't you? Ooh, naval invasion. Two Sicilies are struggling a little. Modern destroyers. So those are going to be the free destroyers that I've been promised. Let's get the cruisers as well. Lightly armoured cruisers, displacing less than 5,000 tonnes, are quite frequently the key to building a mobile naval force. Be that for raiding convoys, bringing war material to Japan, or escorting car to Japan, or escorting carriers to protect uh, air power in the Pacific, they will form an able backbone. And these are the two new destroyers. Good. I think that's all the destroyers that... Yeah, this is now a perfectly rounded fleet. 40 destroyers, 10 capitals. Perfection. Oh, and these two need to be refitted. Of course they do. Let's see to it that that happens first. And then we'll start switching to destroyer production again? Well, it depends on when these guns are done. 58 days. Okay. We can modify government once more. We cannot go up in manpower. We could get a chief of the navy. 
Gather Open Seas Doctrine. Or Decisive Battle Doctrine. Oh, this is even more Special Forces. We could have so many Special Forces. And we did want the Armoured Marines. I mean, those are what they're going to be eventually. Yeah, I know I don't have enough manpower for the ships. I, I realise that. And the next thing we could do is get rid of these. I have massive crews. I think I will. I don't really have any need for these ones. So these are 1.8, so that's 4 times 1.8. And then three times four. Which is twelve. Nineteen point two thousand. That's a lot of manpower. Which I also didn't get, so we're gonna go do this. Nineteen two hundred. Okay. Now I feel like my army is more manageable. We should be able to reinforce everything which we're owed. And in time, I might well get rid of the uh, Tier 1 destroyers. Possibly even the Tier 1 capitals. Replace them with more modern ones. Much better to replace and upgrade than lose them. Units are getting stronger too now. Um, I would like to upgrade these with recon and engineers as well, which you can afford. how exactly I wanted the Marines to work, but I don't remember offhand. Oh, that's true. I still have one of these guys which needs to upgrade to a regular infantry unit. Where are you? You're in... south of China. No. I'm going to leave you as a small unit for now. Maybe it's the way to go, a small overpowered special force to make it count where it's worth. I mean, that's exactly what I was thinking of doing. And we're going to have a lot of capacity for special forces, which, like I said, are going to be the armoured marines. We all know that if Mordred lived in America during the Civil War in real life, he would have been appointed as the Chief of the Navy. Yes, call me... Mordred Paul Jones. Although that wasn't Civil War, I know. All right, are you lot all here? Almost. At which point I'm going to trigger a staff office plan. Hopefully get you some more experience. Meanwhile, how are you doing? Ah, logistics wizard. And thorough planner. You can only get one. Logistics wizard all the way. Two levels time you can get for her uh, thorough planner. Fentiang took 17 states, Qing have been annexed, so now Japan is looking incredibly strong in China. That's an early acquisition, unfortunately. But this is a different faction to Japan, and I don't think that this is the pro-Japan faction. It just depends on whether they go after Nanjing or not. We also have the Chief of Staff, which is going to be the Commando Operations. When do we get Amtraks? 
We can start researching mechanized next year, and then it's the year after for Amtrak's. Well, we can at least start putting mechanized in here? these units. That's that's the next step. Why didn't I go for carrier focus doctrine more suitable for the Pacific Naval Warfare? Because it warns me not to. It says if you go aviation school, you are deviating from the orthodox doctrine of the Kaiser Lecker Marine. This might bring you trouble. This is a democratic Fentiang. And yeah, don't worry about the Fentiang borders. Don't forget that these are all nations which will almost certainly be absorbed into it. So they are collaborating with Japan right now. But I think that's just a free doctor, uh, free option for them. In the same way that I get free stuff from Journey. Um... Concordia Association goes down, Recovery League goes up, Zhang Clique goes up. Unification by subjugation, unscrupulous governments with assertive governments. Or unification by negotiation. Towards Japan or away. Versus... Federation, so I guess that this is away from Japan as well. Yeah, having not played as Fentiang, I don't really know how they work. What's this? You have manpower now. Nerf Prussian thought. Only because I got rid of three carriers and eight heavy cruisers. I'm disbanding my navy to get manpower. Very Prussian, I know. So what are you still waiting for? Manpower. Which is arriving. Slowly but surely. And you're currently up there by forests. That's okay. Staff office plan. Let's get your planning prep up as quickly as we can, and then we can actually start going, for example, for St. Paul. Although we don't need to, it's just been taken. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with the tanks. They would be most useful down here right now. Wasting a bit of my office plan here. Come on, people, get a move on. Chop, chop. That was really poorly timed, but never mind. AUS is making great moves at the moment. There we go, we're in position. It's fine. Everything's fine! Which conditions must be met so that Japan invades China? I don't know. You can see Fentiang's progress by looking at their pie chart. Ah! Concordia Association's The Market Liberals. Communications clique, social conservatives, recovery league is authority and democrat, and then Zhang clique is paternal autocrat. And they are nat pop. They're currently going after Hawaii. That's going to be where things get very bad for me. I mean, they already have a claim on Malaya. Though, for some reason... Oh, maybe it means this bit of Malaya in particular. Eastern Sumatra part of Malaya. No, Malaya means Malaya. <laughs> There's an actual province called that. I don't know. Still no point going for that, so we may as well go for the naval one. So what do we think? Naval screen, attack and defense, and naval speed bonus, and speed is really good. It allows us to get in and out of danger more quickly. Projections in not very important. That's not very important. Or we can go for decisive battle. Which does make our naval AA better. Speaking of which, that is something I need to upgrade as my AA. Because Japan is going to be bringing carriers. And then, then capital ship attack and armor into capital ships are going to be harder to sink. 
And that is really important, because what I absolutely cannot afford is to lose these guys. Concordia Association is pro-Japan, all the rest of various types are anti-Japan. Gotcha. Thank you. I get this sinking feeling that Japan's slowly but surely taking over East Indies. No, East Indies are fine. And it actually looks like they're sending more and more troops back home to defend that. Clearly there were a couple here at some point. Oh! Green! It's the Battle of Verdun, again! The second Battle of Verdun. Alright, tanks, we ready? We're ready, go! Oh wait, no, I should not tell you to do that. I should instead tell you to do that. Six hundred breakthrough. Six hundred soft attack. Dominionists win South Africa. The civil war has been ravaging South Africa. It has been bloody and bitter, dividing across ethnicities, political ideology and ancestry. The Dominionists fought to defend the Cape while the Afrikaners drove furiously towards the sea. As the dust settles, the Dominionists seem to have come out ahead. South Africa now looks outwards towards the Entente. Am I really losing that much strength? No. That must not have been my tank. Nanjing clique declared war on Hunan clique. Fentiang took three, Sichuan took one, Tibet was annexed. Henan Cleek is that one. Oh, there's Nanjing. Hold on, that's my side. Hi, guys. You want some stuff? I got stuff for you. Here, have some stuff. Oh, it's the guns which I don't actually have any of. I don't know why you keep linking those. I don't have any. Uh, do you actually have any convoys? Uh, a couple. You could probably do with another hundred. I need to come back to you. Hey, Zay. Oh! Did your video go up today or yesterday? I completely forgot about that. I had meant to post about it. Uh, go ahead and link it, and then I'll post it up on Discord as well. Not going to be making anything, which is fine. Goes up in one minute. Okay, I did not forget. Because <laughs> I wanted to watch that. So Zitalia has just started a new series of Aurora Forex. And you may recognize the introduction. Possibly. Alright, so the tanks have done what I told the tanks to do. So let's go ahead and cancel your current plan. And stick you in Minneapolis and have you push to this river. Can I afford to send convoys? I have just 150. I have this wondrous thing called shipyards, and I can make more, which is what I was going to do. Because we are very low on manpower, and I don't know that I necessarily want all of my destroyers to be filled up with that. And I do definitely want some destroyers built. Nope, don't do that. That would have been bad. So what am I building right now? Ah, shipyards. Makes sense. And once again, I'm going to give the tanks the go-ahead, but not the infantry. Uh, that's mud. Auf geht's! 
we're not attacking mud. Oh, no, 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 no. There is definitely a lot more mud in the game now. I'm pretty sure this did not used to exist. I'm going to reduce that so you're not going to the mud province. Then I'm going to press shift and go. You should go here instead. Light cruisers, done. Um, so now I feel like we can probably... Expand the naval facilities. At some point we'll need an Air Force too, but right now I don't feel like I can particularly afford that. At present, the current naval facilities in Sembam Wang and Kamran can only support the coastal patrol elements stationed in the area. We should expand these naval bases so that they can better handle large capital ships and support our growing presence. Central America has joined the Third International. Okay. Uh, right. Tanks are going to need to go somewhere else. Let's put you here. Going to... Oh, no. Not that one. There, there, there. There be mud. And like I said before, I ain't going to no muddy places. Watching from just south of Minneapolis right now. Well, you've just been liberated, Grand Misa Funk. Congratulations. Sudwest Africa took one state and Namibiland was annexed. Okay, so Sudwest Africa is actually doing quite well. Was I sending you stuff? I feel like I might have been. Uh, no. Or if I was, it's just cancelled itself. Oh. I was still building out of date ships. I didn't realise I had more of them in production. Because I do want you to be refitted, please. Not yet, Germany. I'm busy. Like I said, once we push to the Rockies, then I'll call it good enough here. Alright, have the tanks arrived? Yes. Yes, they have. Go. Okay, so it was an American tank that was so badly injured. Good. Uh, we can get Kempfgrupper, and we can even get this one faster. And here's the link now that it's live. Awesome, Zate, thank you. Uh, can one of the moderators stick that as an announcement? Actually, I probably should. Let me do that. Announcements. There we go. And I'll need to watch that myself later. Actually, let me just open that up so I have it as a reminder. Do 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 do. And there we go. Marvellous. Yeah, no worries, eh? 
How am I liking German East Asia so far? I've been looking forward to your play of them and didn't see the first stream. I'm liking them. They are in an interesting position. Their relations with the uh, Nanjing clique, formerly the League of Eight Provinces, is really cool. Uh, they have a real big problem with manpower, and I mean it's a huge problem, which creates some interesting challenges, particularly because you've got to keep your fleet building. Did you upgrade? Yeah, you're a T3 now. Awesome. Ah, and you are the first of the new escorts, which are going to be led by Rudolf Firi. Firil, Firil. This guy. And your icon needs to be the escort icon, which is that one. Excellent. Don't you being orange. Orange is my reserve color. We'll make you yellow. Good. Yeah, Nanjing is fighting someone. Intro turned out pretty good, even if I do say so myself. Yeah, I'm going to need to watch that now. Japan is attacking the Netherlands. Yeah, I know they are. Naval invasions are going on. Palembang should hold. This is a little more concerning. Yeah, we might need to join that fight sooner than I had perhaps liked. But it looks like the AUS is in a fine position right now. I mean, they definitely lost a bit of territory here uh, while they were, the death throes of the AUS were going on. But now they're in quite a bit of a stronger position. Is this fight actually showing? It is, finally. So, Pacific States have lost a million. AUS have lost 1.4. Plus the 2 million they lost against the AUS means they've lost 3.4 million. That's a few. That's definitely a few. But they are, I think, still mobilizing. To service by requirement. Which is a lower level than all adults serve. So the economy of the PSA is going to be a lot worse. And the AUS at this stage is about three times more industry. I think the AUS is fine now. So we're going to stop and we're going to join the big war. Because I also want to intercept these Japanese troops. And stop them getting a foothold. All right. Oh, Germany. How's it going? And there we go. We are now in the war. Where's Japan? That's not the war I was expecting. Oh, is Japan in the Third International, technically? No. Um... Uh, 